karaoke. I think we're live. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's live. Hello. Hello. Hola. Ta -da, we're here again. It's like we did this last week. <laughs> it's like we it's like uh it's like um Oh, this is a good start. We're like can you, we can't even figure out what we're talking about. Okay. No, because I had it like I for some reason I had two windows up on my screen, so I was hearing the stream twice back to back and it was tripping uh, me out. Yeah, that can be distracting. Hello <laughs> yeah. everyone. How are you? I have wine. I have so, water. I am happy. <laughs> I am I am hydrated. Hey, your mic's distorting a bit. Maybe lower it slightly. Like I just noticed like when you talked at like a high volume it kind of a blah you know. Better? Yeah, I think so. Oh talk again. Say something. One, two, three test. One, yeah, two, better. three. Better. Porsche is better than Ferrari. Yeah, why is it definitely the microphone's broken? <laughs> <laughs> uh dan has no guest or sushi this week what a disappointment i'm sorry so we were actually discussing earlier today that we want to start doing calling guests uh, honestly, like we've said for the past month and a half and just haven't done i'll tell you what does someone want to join us right now how about chris you want to join us i could give you the link to zoom and you can join us right now i don't care like you we're just, just gonna do this we're just let's just, i mean you know how i am i don't give a shit we'll 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 do it live that's right <laughs> It may or may not work correctly, but yeah. we'll give it a shot. You want to call in? All right, Ricky. There, Ricky called it. Yep. Ricky, he's yep. he's. Pre oh, it's fry porn time. You want to seriously? You want to call in? So here's the trick: you gotta like you know, have a video and stuff, because otherwise we can't see you, and it's you know this is a video, so you know we're not like. I mean, is a, video a requirement for the first one? For the very first one? I guess maybe. Oh, he's driving. Wait, wait, you're driving and you're watching this? No, Chris said that, not I Ricky. I know. Oh. He's driving and he's watching our live feed. Well, maybe he's just listening to it on the radio like Richard yeah, said he does the next day. Yeah, I guess he not really to, like, watch us be our dumb selves. Uh, your cam is broken? Well, I mean, you could probably dial in. I don't know. I just feel like it needs to be a video. It'll be like a radio show, though. Yeah, well, but, like, this is a video thing. So like, okay, does somebody else out there have a webcam that can call it? That yeah. Can Who, talk with us? Who's got a webcam that wants to call in to the show? Um, anyway, can we have another Meg's Epidetic review soon? Probably. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, a woman! <laughs> uh, have Mousetrap call in? I should. I mean... I don't know, Mousetrap, you want to call in? And people are like, we vote Mousetrap. But I don't speak French, ha ha. Oh, hey, when are we getting the F8 review of Fred's new spider? We actually are uh, getting airplane tickets arranged today. So we're working on that. Uh, looks like we'll be flying out there in... December. December, like the week before Christmas. So The um, 16th, yep. Yeah, yeah. So that means we'll probably have it coming out the week of Christmas or the week after Christmas. So I have one, but I'm naked. Well, I mean, whoa, jeez, I got kind of. Let's personal. uh, let's save that for the OnlyFans later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, too funny. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go out there. Um, we're going to review the F8. He's actually already got some stuff he wants to change on the F8, so we're going to do some work on it. So we're going to actually get a couple of videos on it. So, yeah, that'll be good. So he texted me today. He was like, sell me something. So I actually looked through his order history to see if he had ordered an exhaust yet. I was like, you need an exhaust. Dude, he does on the F8. I mean, come on. I, actually, I was thinking about I'm like... Maybe we need to look up how to do a Forza Componente install on it because it's much more difficult on the F8 than it is on previous Ferraris. Really? Yeah, because you don't just like plug it in. Hmm. Yeah, you have to like actually do some, you know, because of course, of course, they changed stuff that was working great. Of course, they need to keep us on our toes. Yeah, yeah. 
come to come to my toy drive for the California Highway Patrol on twelve nineteen. Twelve nineteen. What day is that? I think we'll be there for that. Uh, twelve nineteen. That's oh, I think that's leave. the day we leave. That's the yeah, day, that's we the leave. day we leave. We won't be able to do it. Dang. Only dance. <laughs> <laughs> I second the Meg review. More female content to balance out the manliness. <laughs> yes, Ricky, the, the exhausts are back ordered, but not the competitiones. Oh, what? what where? The controllers. Ricky asks, oh. are the exhausts back ordered? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can get Forza's like in a week. Uh, will you do a devaluation tour of Colorado again? Yes, we are. Funny you ask that. Funny you ask that. Yes, we are going to do it uh, probably the last week of September of next year. So we, speaking we, of that, we need to get our uh, like I know. dates and everything. Yeah, we, lock, we got to still lock down some dates. So we need to call the hotels and see what's available and start getting uh, commitments. And then we need people to actually commit. So, like, if people don't commit and we don't get enough reservations, we're not going to do it because we can't afford to have it be, uh, lo- uh, you know, losing money three years in a row. <laughs> um, just got my normal guy supercar shirt today. Hell yeah. We'll be wearing it Saturday at Cars of Coffee in Sarasota. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. I'm glad that you guys are doing Cars of Coffee out there. Yeah, we still haven't had it come back. It sucks. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we heard about the. I've I've seen stuff about the football player stuff. I mean, I don't know. People do dumb things. Of course, Porsches are welcomed on the devaluation tour, yes. Scott. I will actually be driving it this year. Yes. So. Yes, Adam, your VIP status issue has been resolved. Only fan equals muscle wrap. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I have one fan. It's literally an only fan. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not only fans. It's <laughs> only fan. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bring the drone and lots of Porsche and Ferraris. I mean, you can. That'd be sweet. Scott, you should sign up for the devaluation tour. That way, there will be more than one Porsche there. I can't, uh, you know, safety in numbers with all those Italian horses there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. If like we do a devaluation tour and one of the Porsche breaks, that would be hilarious. Oh, you Chris, mean, victory! So nobody else wanted to call in, so we should just have him in as a call without video. No one else. Or was to... it Chris? It was who was it? Uh, da, 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 da. No one wants to call in on video. No one's got a video working. See, good encouraging video today on building up or uh, working up to that dream car. Yeah. You know, we, we were talking about that because it's like, oh, Tyler could. Yeah. We should have Tyler join us. There you go. Um, actually, we got a video on the C8 Z06 coming out very soon. We, we filmed it. I edited it uh, yesterday. I got to finish it tomorrow. So, um, Tyler. I'll, uh, Fred. Fred's here. Fred. We were just talking about you. Hey, Fred, do you have a webcam? If so, let me know. I'm going to, um, <laughs> hold on. All right. I got to send it. Whoops. Wrong button. Let me see. I need to get the uh, Zoom meeting thing. Where's the invite thing? Sorry. Where's my invite thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you want to uh, join us on video chat? Fred, do you want to be one of our first guests? Or, uh, having Tyler come on. Oops. All right. Whoops. Wrong button. There we go. All right. Hold on. I got Tyler's email somewhere. Tyler. There. Boom. All right. I sent you a thing, Tyler. Whoa. There's a bunch of stuff. All right. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hey, Fred, you want to join us? Sure. If my crap works. All right. I'll send you an email. Hold on. Dan, have you seen your F430 and Frank Stevenson's video about how he designed the F430 for Ferrari? All right. I sent you a link, Fred, and... Oh, whoa. Jeez, I come back in like 10 stuff. Uh, Tyler and Fred, I sent you a link. So join and you should just magically appear. (laughs) 
<laughs> Hopefully, if this works. I have to install Zoom. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Hello, car person. Miss Maserati. Hello. Welcome. Fred, what is... Uh, Fred, Fred, Fred. That, read that donation from Daryl. Do you know what? He, he's Dan, asking. have you seen your F430 and Frank's? Yes, I did, actually. Uh, my 430 was in that video. They... Uh, so it was funny because that was actually video I did not film. So I have no control over it. So I didn't even know it happened until someone sent me a link to it. And they're like, hey, did you know your car is in this video? And I'm like, it is? And I go look at it. I'm like, that's cool. I'm like, dang, I wish I would have gotten some, like, you know, promotion what, for it or something. What video is this? Uh, Frank Stevenson is one of the lead designers of the F430. And he did this great video talking about designing the F430. And they actually used footage of my old F430 in it. I'm huh. like, that's cool. Uh, please remember that older car without electro electronic magnetic management will lose some power going to the mountain. Oh, dude. All naturally aspirated cars are going to lose a ton of power going to the mountains. So Every car will. Even a turbo car will. Yeah, yeah. You go up there and... Okay, you got the link. We're seeing if people are going to join us soon. That would be kind of cool. We'll start, and if this works, we can start doing this like every once in a while. We'll have some of you guys join us that want to. Of course, <laughs> I'm going to request that maybe you get a webcam because, you know, it'd be kind of cool. People want to actually, see your beautiful yeah, faces. Yeah, it'd be cool. Like, come on. Look, don't be bashful. Look at the. You, you think, I know. You think I want this broadcast everywhere every week? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh, oh Tyler's connected. Tyler? He had to install it, and he beat Fred in. Hey! Oh, man, and he's got, like, a podcast Whoa, mic look at and this everything. microphone. I know. I have Say something. Side... Can we hear you? Oh, we can't hear you. It says it's connecting it's to audio. It says it's connecting to audio. Wait. There we go. There. Hey. hey. I have size envy now. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> I know. Hey. I got to back up. <laughs> <laughs> You're too close. Yeah. Shit. Jeez, your head is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Let me push my laptop back here. There you go. There you go. If you didn't know, Tyler was uh, on the tour of Colorado, and I think he maybe had an okay time. Just okay. Just, you know, it, it was okay. I might do it again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if we really twist your arm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do we actually have two women watching this right now? That's amazing. <laughs> Man, that's like oh, doubled our female Tyler, viewership. They're asking for you to introduce yourself. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just rearranging windows to see the chat. Yeah, uh, so I'm Tyler. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, I've uh, met Dan and Adam on the tour of Colorado a couple months ago. And uh, yeah, I have the uh, Jag F-Type that was in the videos. That's right. Yep. And I'm drinking a gin and tonic. Oh, very good. Uh, very good choice of alcohol. Oh, yeah. oh, Fred's joining. Is it going to work? Let's see if this works. Two too many women. Three, your girlfriend's here. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Ooh, look at that. Man, look at, man, us. Look at this. We, like, we have... Oh, oh, Fred, we can't even see you. <laughs> we see like you. <laughs> I, I see your nose. At least I'm not the only close one. Yeah, yeah, we can see you. Turn the camera lower. <laughs> Tilted down. Tilted down. There, well, you can barely see your face. <laughs> oh man, you got a lot of feedback. I think, Fred, you're ruining this whole thing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Put on headphones, Fred. There it is. Oh, look Hold at on. That. More professionals here. <laughs> Jeez, you got a lot of feedback. We're gonna have to like get you with a better microphone. Okay, how's that? Man, everything ground to a halt because like all of a sudden <laughs> Fred's here and he's like he's just like Phew. Okay, is that good now? That's is that better. good now? That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's better. better. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Which car is uh <laughs> right? There. Behind you. What? Which? Car? Oh, oh, that's the F8. That's the F8. Oh, it's covered. What? Well, come on, yeah, man. You want me to unveil it? You want me to do an unveiling for everyone, or yes. you want to keep that? Oh, for later? wait, wait. 
Is that Snowdrop? Okay. What's up, Tyler? Hey, Fred. Okay. I, I haven't met you hey. yet, but nice to virtually meet you. Hey, good to meet you too. Okay. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> well, I put plastic on the You have plastic on the cover, so you're like covered, uh, covering uh, the cover. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Nice. The moment that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> He is in like the worst room ever. Yeah, I know. Yes. Right? It's just because his garage is huge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, oh. yes. No. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's pretty. That is, that is sexy. Oh, man. Christina. Christina. Uh oh, your dog's loose. You don't need to name all my cars. <laughs> you need some lights in the garage? Yeah. You need better lights. Oh, damn. <laughs> She's waiting for you. You only have 83 miles on her. She's waiting for you to drive her. You need to drive it more. Yeah. That's a you problem, man. Yeah. Good Lord. You need to drive that thing. <laughs> well, I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. And, you know, Dan tells me, you know, I'm... Oh, oh. I got... that comes... That's standard. <laughs> you know the windows? Oh, oh they yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, motor motor in now. Ah, uh, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chris, Chris just donated like $5 to put better lights in your garage, Fred. <laughs> I, I know two guys that sell them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can get you hooked up. Here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You also need to give him a better mic, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? We're going to we're gonna have to get you some real equipment, Fred. I'm, I'm jealous of the giant microphone over in Tyler's thing. Damn. I know. I'm, I'm literally, like, in my sound studio that I do film editing in. Oh, so wow. So I was just... Like had to pop over and plug in the laptop. Do you do a bunch of like voiceover and stuff? Okay, how's that? Is that a little better? Oh, that's a little better. That's a little better. That's a little better. Yeah, yeah. That is the triple yellow. Yep. Yes, it the is. The moment that everyone's yeah. been anticipating. And look at this. I got this uh, from China. <laughs> the little cover oh, for nice. the key. They don't give you one? Yeah, it's got the... Uh, what's that? They don't give you a cover for the key? Maybe if I asked for it, they would have given it to me, but they gave me, um, let's see, they gave me like a bunch of smelly hats. A smelly hats? And then, um, yeah, for our what new for me like? hats. And, uh, hats. Oh. I was hoping um, you were going to be really they gave, descriptive. <laughs> they gave me a, a bunch of, oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we may have lost Fred. Showing his uh -oh. own face. <laughs> uh, screenshot uh, yeah, yeah, screenshot that one for all of you that wanted to torment Fred there's your chance oh man <laughs> make sure oh there you're back you're back there you go make sure to hook up that F8 to battery tender yeah no kidding right You're. it's on a battery tender oh right? yeah it's the new magnetic yeah you one, know what's right? Cool. Look, check this out. Yeah, it's the magnetic ones. I just ordered one from um, from Great Britain. You know the the one that goes on the end of the lithium ion charger. I so funny you mentioned that. I ordered forty of those connectors, uh, twenty magnetic ones and twenty of the uh, the square plug-in ones from Great Britain. They're supposed to be here uh, next month. Oh. You'll sell them all. Yeah, yeah. You'll sell well, every one of them. Yeah, because um, let's like, hope so. E eBay, it took me sixty days 100, to get it. They're over a hundred dollars on eBay. Oh, I know they're ridiculous. But they're here's ridiculous the crazy price. thing: my wholesale price. Just so you guys know how much money I'm making on these, my wholesale price is like forty-five dollars each. Wow. So I'm thinking, really yeah. So I'm probably gonna sell them for like sixty bucks or something. Adam, why didn't you sell me something? I paid 120 bucks for that damn connector. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, well, we, 
We don't have it in stock yet. They're not so. here yet. <laughs> oh, well. Well, look, I had to wait 60 days for it. It took like, it got caught up in customs and everything. It, it, I can get something faster from China than I can from Great Britain. Really? Which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. That's stupid. It was caught up in customs for like 60 days. I was, oh. And I sent the guy an email and he said, well, sorry, there's nothing I could do about it. I Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, get this. That's not that bad. So, so I tried to order NGSF8 for the license plate. <laughs> It came back that it. Oh. Oh, no. No, right? The worst time. Right? Not in... What? Say it again. You're dead. It bull... always freezes in the exact bull, uh... awesomest two face, though. Right? <laughs> right. Doubles is like Fred's at fate. Fred's fate, right? Fred's fate. So. Um, uh, oh, man. Fred, six to nine months. We need to get you a better internet connection in your garage. <laughs> no, actually, it's this is like gigabit FiOS. Why do you think I'm really slow? Well, you keep timing it, out. Let me you see. keep like dying on us. Do I? Here, hold on. You know what? Let me see. It might be your wife. Let me see if I can't plug it in hard. Here. Oh, hey, give oh, me yeah. like five minutes. Talk amongst yourself. Hold on, let Fred, me plug in someone directly. Asked, someone asked you, <laughs> are you going to join the tour of Colorado next year? Yeah, we need some F8s on it. I yeah. don't know. I guess if I want a cracked windshield, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. You know what? Logistically, I gotta gotta tow it, gotta bring it over, and I don't know. I'd probably bring my four or five A. I don't know if I'd bring the F eight, but yeah. I guess I'm so. hearing excuses, not solutions. Everything to tell you guys. We do. About you need to get people. Yeah, but you know what? I have. I, yeah. Yeah, and and I mean, I, I've got a bunch of things to tell you guys. I, I mean, I don't want to ruin any of it, but you'll see. Okay. The four five eight. What could I say about it? It's they're totally two different cars. If 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 you didn't have a, a four five eight or you didn't have the Ferrari experience, I'll just give you a little bit right there. But if you didn't have the Ferrari experience and you're like a a douchebag with a bunch of money and you went and you bought this car and you didn't know anything about the older cars, you would not have the Ferrari experience. This is complete, hmm. it's per, really? personality-wise, it's completely different. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't know. You might think something different. But give me a couple minutes. Let me patch in, see if it doesn't improve things. OK, all right, there we go. Uh, Fred Adam is in marketing training, advertising real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Rich man problems, which Ferrari to drive? I'm not rich, and I have that problem. Although I can only drive one because one doesn't run. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's uh, a sore subject. We won't touch on that. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? It's like you know the money wise and everything. You got some people that have a lot of money that do nothing but just want to go and buy these cars. Yeah, and they don't know anything about the cars, and they don't know, they don't know about like the four five eight or the four thirty or any of those cars, and. And what kind of emotion that that car actually extols from you? Sure. This what I'm trying to say is that this doesn't extol the same emotion. I mean, yeah, at least in my it's opinion. not. It's it's fast. <laughs> it's ridiculously fast. Yeah, it's it's but it has lag. Remember when you drove it, you yeah. noticed the lag. It does have lag. Yeah, for sure. There is turbo lag. It's not terrible, but it's still. I'm there. curious how it, the turbo lag on that feels to the turbo lag on my car, because my car has turbo lag. Yeah, no, it's yours is worse, but yours is what, like 15 years old. 19 years old. 19 yeah. years old. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff's changed a little <laughs> bit, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fred, you drive the 458, and I'll drive the F8 and follow you. I think that's a great plan. That's what Mousetrap yeah. said. <laughs> Mousetrap said that. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah. California really hey, that sounds sucks. good. <laughs> Cheryl says, California really sucks for custom vanity plates. I'm still waiting for mine for a classic 68 pickup five months now. Not to mention how picky they are. I hope they don't give Fred too much grief. That's five months. Jesus. Why yeah. does it take so long to get a, a yeah, custom I think, plate? I think mine got approved in like a week. The first one, admittedly, back in the day when I did the Zero Kids plate, 
I got denied for the first one. Uh, it was birth control, BRT. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's offensive. And I'm like, really? That's offensive? Speaking of offensive plates, when I lived in Alaska, there was a guy in our little car group that was on the license plate approval board for the state mm. of Alaska. His oh, no. license plate was PLZB18. Please be 18. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah yeah That's it's amazing what it's amazing what you can get through when you're the person approving yeah when you actually yep. control it the dude was creepy as hell too it's yeah well look at his license plate <laughs> yeah right <laughs> uh hey dan do you still have that boat yes we still have the boat need to do some stuff with it uh i thought the 488 had no turbo lag are you saying that as a statement or a question because i would say there is turbo lag it's just not severe Oh, yeah. Happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, John. Oh, yeah. Happy Veterans Day. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Now we're getting echo. Yeah. Okay, guys. Is that any better? Echo. Not really. The audio is worse. I'm plugged in directly right now. Is that the any audio better? audio is worse. Uh, Did you change the setting on your spectrum. microphone? Did you change the setting on your microphone? Jeez, Lil, that's no. terrible. Uh, terrible. All right. I'm gonna go back to the wireless thing. We're gonna have to. And it's it's just your speakers, right? It's just your speakers. We need to give you like an actual <laughs> microphone. We need to give you like an actual microphone. Yeah, I don't know why. <clears throat> yeah. Plugging it in will well, change anything. Okay. I don't know why. Change anything. Well, oh, I don't. So I don't want to ruin the rest of the uh, the night. Okay. So I gave everybody a little preview. I hope yes. you all enjoyed it. Tyler, great to meet you, buddy. Yeah, you too, man. And, yes. um, let's see if we can give yeah, somebody else the opportunity to possibly uh, sure. join in. How's that sound? That sounds good. Alrighty. Man. Well, we'll be seeing you okay. soon anyway. <laughs> take care, guys. Yeah. Take care, everybody. I'm just going to start chatting. Yeah. See you, Fred. All right. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else want to join in? <laughs> you have to have headphones. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. New rule. No, no, no one without headphones. Uh, <laughs> Adam, show us on the doll where the creepy man touched you. <laughs> My butt. <laughs> the, the best plate I've seen in New Mexico was IB6 UB9. I don't know how that got wow. approved. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it got approved. Jeez. That's awesome, though. Yeah. <laughs> IP6. It was on like a know. Range Rover Sport or something. <laughs> I like this question. I want to know why Fred had plastic on top of the cover. Honestly, I, I am a little bit curious about that too because the covers are meant to breathe, right? So if there's any moisture, it's going to expel the moisture. But if you put a plastic cover over it, it's going to keep in the moisture. So you risk getting like mildew. Maybe it's trying to keep that dust. 80. Yeah, he's trying to keep the 80 mile smell and yeah. So we're gonna have to. <laughs> I don't know. We gotta give him a shit anyway. He's not driving that car. It, why it's yeah. below 100 miles still? We'll have to fix that. I mean, I'd have a, I'd have like a thousand miles in the first week. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'll be driving that shit everywhere, uh, like a grandmother with plastic <laughs> on her couches. <laughs> so, not gonna lie. Definitely read that as a different word other than yeah. couches as soon as it showed up. I did too. <laughs> yeah. I uh, was like, whoa. <laughs> Glad I didn't read that out loud because <laughs> couches is not what I would have said. <laughs> Don't be bad, Adam. Don't be bad. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. It's there permanently. There's nothing yeah. I can do right. about it. Right. Yeah. That's generally true. Oh man. oh man. Oh, look at that. Now it's uh, just the three of us. There we go. Dan v devalues cars. All cars. Not all. I've, I've actually had cars appreciate that I've had, but not that many. <laughs> Have a good night, Speed Freak. See you, man. Thanks for joining us. V12. I sold uh, I sold my first car for a profit last year. Yeah? I, I never thought I'd ever get to do that in my life. Which so. car was that? It was a Jeep Wrangler, a piece of really? shit Jeep Wrangler. Yeah. What year? I, uh, 2013. And you made money on it? Yeah. Jeeps, like eight, dude, Jeeps hold their value like yeah, crazy. Yeah. So my, I had a, 
a Ford Edge is like my daily driver. It was a lease car. I got talked into doing it. And it, you know, the lease was great. I'm not going to fault Ford leasing. Um, but I wanted the new Land Rover Defender because where I live, you know, nice to have some off-road capabilities if it's really crappy and the roads turn to mud and just all plastic inside. So if I need to go get fuel or something, like, you know, who cares if it spills, whatever. So yep, yep. the Defender is supposed to show up two days after my lease was over so it was like fine i have the f-type i can drive that for a week you know whatever time takes them to prep the car and then it got uh my order got shut down a day before or my order was a day after they shut down the plants oh. for covid so it got delayed four months so i bought a cheap cheap wrangler and in those four months is when oh you know, yeah when everything went crazy everything started to go nuts so i was able to sell that for eight thousand dollars more in four months holy cow eight yeah. grand yep mind if i ask what what did you sell it for uh was 28 28 it went from 20 Jeez. to 28 dude yep jeeps holy were the crap. hardest vehicles to yeah. total when i was yeah, in but insurance that's, percentage wise that's huge that's almost yeah, it was, almost 50 percent. it was nuts and that was the carvana so yeah. you probably could have actually gotten in? more money. I, I probably could have gotten more, but the reason I did Carvana was uh, a week before, like, literally the day the Defender showed up in town, the water pump decided to implode and explode and overheat. So I got the water pump replaced, and it was still low on coolant from boiling over, and they didn't care. So they took it, and I didn't have to buy a, like a new $100 jug of coolant. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> I that's feel insane. bad for whoever bought that thing. Yeah. That's insane. I never saw it show up on their site, so they might have wholesaled it. Who knows? But <laughs> Or just sent it to another state. Yeah, yeah. right. Just, yeah, yeah, whatever. Take it. Sorry, sorry Carvana. <laughs> Dude, yeah. they, but they should know. Like, I don't feel bad for places like that that don't double check. When we traded in yeah. my wife's Elantra, it was leaking coolant in the Ford parking lot. Oh, wow. And I was like, hey, man, like the car's here. Do you want to go look at it? And they're like, no, whatever. It's an Elantra. An Elantra is an Elantra. And I'm not going to beg you to go out there and no. find a leak in a car. I didn't. If they would have asked me, I would have told them. And I told them the car was there to go look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Like this had a brand new water pump, new serpentine belt. Uh, it didn't overheat like it ran just fine it drove fine without overheating but it was below minimum on the coolant level wow. so it was, you know they didn't ask they he looked he opened the hood he checked so wow that's that's crazy. on them yep 68 ford bronco and bring a trailer was at two hundred and forty thousand dollars today what oh my god Jeez. Well, thank you bronco i mean 68s I mean, are cool but yeah but not, not that cool not, not that cool grand cool <laughs> Jeez. Look, cutting edge said he's listing his wife's Jeep tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, right? You're like, damn, sorry, hon. You're going to have to get another car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus, that's insane. I just, the current car prices just astound me. Like, it doesn't make yeah. any sense at all. It's just ridiculous. Is it no. just me or does it look like dealerships are starting to fill back up a little bit, though? It seems like they're not full. Know. But it seems like they have at least a couple of cars on the lot. Dude, now. when I was uh, down in San Antonio this week and driving back, the Kia dealership, which is this huge, huge Kia, Kia dealership on 35. Oh, on 35? Yeah. I'm yeah, sure you know that out. one. Yeah. There was like 20 cars there. Like, it was a ghost town. And none of them were Kias. Wow. They were all used cars. It was crazy. Yeah, dude, that's an, like there's a Toyota dealership in my city. I don't want to say what city I live in because you people will find my house because you guys are <laughs> welcome to my weirdos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's a Toyota dealership and it's got nothing but like Chevy Dodge trucks on it, Ford trucks, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then there's a Chevy dealership that has more Fords in the parking lot than Chevy's. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's ridiculous. It's just. Yeah. Nothing makes sense right now. It just does not. It's crazy. Jocko's yeah. calling me. Oh, Jocko? He, he must be watching. Dude, you should <laughs> answer it. Answer it. See what he says. Be like, put him on speaker. Be like, Jocko, you're live. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's see if we can get I can, let me Let me call him back. Actually, I, I can do you one better here. Okay. Can you plug it you into the audio in? on the computer? Yeah. No kidding. Look at you. You're way better than I am at this stuff. Well, I, I have a sound mixer that I can put the Bluetooth into. I, I should get a sound mixer. <laughs> Heck yeah. I don't, I don't want to spend money on stuff. That's the problem. Uh, I, hate I don't blame you. Dude, I've got like... I've got probably like ten thousand dollars in camera equipment, and it's still, you know, it's like, oh, jeez, man. Let me tell you, when that, when my main camera lost the microphone jack, I was so pissed because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I bet. Did, did they get that sent back? Yeah, yeah. I finally got it back. It's actually right here nice. in the bag. Nice. Yeah. Oh, man. Did they get that sent back? Did you get that? Hey, Sean. Yeah. Look at that. Can you hear me? Yeah, Jocko, you're live on uh, Dan's stream. I'm piping you in. Jocko, can you hear us? <laughs> yeah. How are you guys doing? It's funny. I'm watching this on my iPad, but I get that coming through. It's only on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Jocko, how, so how you doing, Jocko? You, how are you guys doing? Good. Doing how are great. you? I'm just like, uh, it, you know what? I, I love this, Dan. I just found out there's a hole in one of the tires in my car. I went what? to go drive it to drive out that old gas, and it's like it said, "Don't drive." Twenty three pounds of it took twenty three pounds. Oh, and wow. it's like in the four five eight. Yeah. Oh shit. Dang. And so, yeah, well, you know, you know, the, so that's, I'm, I'm taking. That's I'm a good thing, though, because that means you used it. You yeah. drove your car. That's awesome. This means it got driven. I had the best time of my life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree, Jocko. I absolutely agree. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I was like, Tyler, we got to do this again. I, was like, I just can't believe how cool that was. Yeah, Gabe says hi, by the way. Oh, Tyler, you're, you're, oh, please you got really my quiet. Verified. Oh, I got quiet? Yeah, you're super quiet. Oh, I heard Gabe is going to racing school, so I was excited to hear that. Oh, Gabe, Gabe's going you... to racing school? I heard that, yeah. too. It's cool. He's going to Birdle Roost three-day school. Man, I want to go to racing school. Me, too. <laughs> it's Jeez. a lot of fun. <laughs> Gabe, yeah. did you see uh, Vin Wickies selling their, his uh, Lamborghini for like $35,000? So if you oh. make a video... That you're going to use it to learn how to race, you might uh, might select you. Thirty-five thousand oh. for a Gardo. Hey, I take that. I mean, it's worth a shot, but like, he's not going to send it to another YouTuber. Yeah, you never know. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. But Gabe, you know, if Gabe's using it to learn how to race, uh, you there might you accept it. Yeah, Gabe, yeah. there you go. Be like, hey, wow, give me that, give me that Gardo for thirty-five grand, and I'll go track the shit out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he showed close-ups. The paint looks like trash. I mean, it... Yeah. I mean, that would be a pretty car. cheap race car, but, I mean, you'd hate to wreck it because then it would get expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. Oh, it's a flood guard? Oh. Yeah, How high yeah. did the water get? I mean... Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, growing up in Formula Ford, I realized the part that the magic was when you knocked the corner off, you didn't destroy the car. <laughs> 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 so if you guys didn't know, uh, Jocko, who was on the phone, actually raced cars for many, many years, and he came on the tour of Colorado with us, and uh, was an absolute pleasure to hear your stories. Oh yes! Oh my God! Oh, I I want to tell you, I had the best time with you guys. I mean, I would do this again in a heartbeat. I mean, it was uh, it was really fun for me to go do something with a bunch of car nuts which i'd never done before <laughs> yes yeah it was well, a blast we need to uh we're still working on trying to lock down dates for next year but it's looking... i understand that i i do understand that <laughs> hopefully i think i think it's looking like it's probably going to be the last week of september again so pretty much the same same kind of time frame and we we talked about like reversing it so that we went the other way around, but I don't, I don't think that makes sense because that would make it so that we do the castle like the first night, and I kind of I kind of yeah. I kind of feel like the castle is like a great send off, you know, like 
because yeah. tradition. Right, so I like, agree. Two years in a row is like we go to the castle, everyone gets drunk as hell, and just has a great night. <laughs> and right. That just sounds and, great. And I'm telling you, this time, this time, be sure to bring vodka and tonic if you don't want to drink that much like wine. <laughs> and, and Miller Lite, because there was and no Miller Lite. Yeah, hey, yeah, it's like. Yeah, beer, whatever you can think of. <laughs> uh, right. Castle's too classy for Miller Lite, though. Yeah, that's kind of true. I mean, I feel like you have yeah, to drink red wine say. there. Yeah. It's like a this wall. Is, that's well, what they I had back like the when they lived wine, in Castle. I just don't like to drink all the red wine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shoot. We, I, I would say we probably didn't drink as much this year as we did last year. Last year, I think we killed like the entire supply of wine in the entire castle but this year ben did i mean we definitely drank <laughs> you know a lot but don't forget you probably had three more drinkers too yeah i mean yeah shoot well, i i was no, just some bottles left over you know whiskey and stuff that steven had so. oh yeah yeah keep on uh, alcohol with him oh yeah well he oh, was wow. le left over from telluride so he was like we're killing us oh, now okay. oh yeah because yeah <laughs> oh, hey! I got a, I got a quick, yeah. I got a quick embarrassing story about Stephen. Oh no! I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw him under the bus here. So you know, Stephen. Stephen just came down to Austin to go to the SBRA races with us over the, uh, last weekend, and uh, I don't know if it was. I think it was the second night he was in town. Whatever it was. Anyway, he he got shit faced. I mean, he was drunk, and so like. We're sitting there, we're chilling on my couch, and he's like, I need to go for a walk. I'm like, all right, like, you're going to go for a walk. It's like, you know, okay, it's 10 o'clock at night. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm really drunk. I just need to go for a walk and walk it off. I'm like, okay. Oh, no. so, like, <laughs> so he's gone for a good half plus, you know, half hour plus, oh. And I'm like, starting to get a little bit worried. I'm like, where is he? Like, did he get lost? You know, I go find him. He's like sitting on the curb, like a block down uh oh oh hey okay cool thanks thanks zoom um anyway and weird. he's like <laughs> yeah. he's like yeah i i haven't puked in a long time but man i'm puking <laughs> 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 and i'm like man there is a there is a weird unwritten rule that just so you guys know just anyone that's on the car world if you come visit normal guy at the normal guy cul-de-sac we, we have an ongoing joke that we call it the normal guy the what we call it ngs nightclub that was oh, no. coined, the the phrase was coined by carrie because we've had like i'm gonna say four people now come visit us get drunk and puke like damn in the, in the, they're like, so excited they, to come see you they yeah, get drunk yeah. and then like, they run out like we're hanging out with a normal guy let's get fucked up and the next thing you know they're like what <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm drinking with the boys yeah said, woo, well, let's get drunk. Too much with the boys. and the next thing you know they're all puking yeah yeah <laughs> look at this bb0303593 says never seem to catch these lives please keep making great content well thank you for for that and we will we were gonna, we're doing our best we're trying and, um did we miss the one from sean post 20 bucks says congrats fred hi dan and adam if did. we did miss it thank you sean i said thank you sean yeah sean's oh, okay. awesome right. sean actually hooked me up with uh he gave me some he gave me some napa stuff i have a napa fender liner you know that fender liner oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. the one that people always are like why aren't you using the fender liner that one i have that <laughs> <laughs> and he also gave me the uh actually the the um the tackle box thing that's got a bunch of our 355 parts. 355 in it yep nice see so I he remember, gave you useful things i remember these things you know did you know that um mousetrap gave me my little extension mirror yeah you told me that yeah see i i oh. i keep that in my mind well see you guys i love you very much but i'm gonna jump off and, and watch you on youtube all right. All right. Hey, thanks for joining us, Jocko. Okay. Good to hear you from you, Jocko. Yeah, great to see you, man. It was, yeah, I mean, I can't wait. We'll catch up. Uh, not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right. See you, Jocko. Have a good one. <laughs> That's kind of cool. We need. We, oh, the, Carrie, Rachel will <laughs> ruffle, roofie you. Oh no. <laughs> but she'll put the. She'll put the rupees in delicious desserts, though, no, so it's okay. Uh, Carrie, Carrie made a 
grave mistake. He was drinking over at NGS nightclub at Rachel's house and didn't realize, I don't, I'm not going to speak for you, Carrie, but apparently you didn't realize IPA has like substantially more alcohol than normal beer and drank a bunch of IPA beer and got drunk as hell and puked. <laughs> it amazes me how much Carrie can put down. Carrie does not strike me as a drinker, and that <laughs> dude can drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, like, it was funny because whatever that was that you visited, Carrie, like, I don't remember if it was a week before or after, maybe it was two weeks, my buddy from Kalamazoo came down to visit, and he had, he's been on like a strict, like, uh, low carb, low, what, like, keto, yeah, he was on a keto diet, right? And he hadn't drank beer in months. So he comes down here and he's like, I'm on vacation, no rules, right? And he drinks a I mean, it was like a reasonable amount of beer, but because he hadn't drank in so long, it was like, oh, he was yep. just, he just laid out. And he was like, man, I haven't been that drunk in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Duck Norris with the $2 donation. Hell Thank yeah, you. it's a little fox. Smiling uh, fox. No, I think it's a duck. It's a fox. Oh, oh I, was looking looking at, at? I was looking at the logo to the left of his name. Well, uh, yeah, of course, Duck Norris has a duck logo. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we stood standing drinking at, with Carrie at the NGS Devaluation Tour 2020. Yeah, I mean, like that, we got schnockered quite a bit. I, I will say, so the 2021 Devaluation Tour, we didn't have quite as much uh, drunken escapades as the 2020. Then, but it's probably yeah, there was no jumping on fireplaces at uh, there was Jepeta. Jepeta. There was a hundred percent less roasting of chestnuts. Yeah, that was a yep. good thing. Carrie, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't puke, but the toilet moved around the room. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jocko from Jocko's Javelin. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna say I'm gonna yeah. say no since we don't know Probably what that is. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. Then again, Jocko. He's always got like stuff when he's telling you, you're like, really? Damn, that's badass. So maybe, could be. Stu shared his drinks with the elk on the castle wall. <laughs> nice. That's over a hundred years old. <laughs> oh, I will say, I I honestly uh, loved all that. What is the worst car you have ever owned? A '94 Pontiac Sunbird. Oh damn, you were right on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to think about that. Well, okay, so this thing, it only had one headlight that worked. The hood was blue. The rest of the car was red. Uh, there was no grill on it. The stereo uh, had a CD stuck in the CD player, but it didn't play. Um, so you couldn't listen to the CD. Uh, and the radio station would only pick up one station, and it was gospel music oh. in Alaska. Oh, and nice. it, it only had one... Uh, one working speaker. That's terrible. <laughs> but it had a remote start. I'm, I'm mm. gonna I'm gonna go with my first car was the worst car, the '71 Nova. That thing was that was pretty bad. I mean, it was like seriously rusted out and just a piece of crap. But yep. Yeah. It's a tie for me between that '13 Wrangler or it was like a early 2000s Ford Taurus that had oh, a right. slipping transmission. Ooh. Now you're a lot louder now that you've oh. un yeah, un unplugged this. Right. Like, Something right, was, fix it. Something's wrong with it was the phone, apparently. Yeah, yeah the phone Zoom. messed up your stuff. <laughs> yeah, Zoom didn't like the phone, I guess. Well, yeah, so yeah, that it was that. So it's a well, just, just like driving those Jeeps on the tour, like they suck on road. Yeah. And I have to get on the interstate to get to work or even to town. Oh, no. And driving a a freaking box that wobbles, you know six inches of dead zone on either side yeah 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 but, or the taurus where the transmission slipped between first and second so every time you tried to accelerate you couldn't go anywhere so it's a mix <laughs> uh, hey dan the hexagon lights you install in your garage are there minimum dimensions for the installation or minimum hexagons i'm thinking of upgrading the lights in my garage but for a small section uh the outer perimeter you know you can only remove 
I mean, you can use less of the lights than w that are what in the kit, but um, you know, you'd have to like shrink it by a full row to make it kind of look proper, I think. So, like for example, in, in uh, Adam's garage, we didn't use the whole kit. We yeah. used like three quarters of it. So you can use less than necessary, but um, it does. It has the dimensions on the the page. I don't remember exactly. I think it's like sixteen feet or so by I want to say nineteen feet. But go look at the dimensions. I don't remember off the top sixteen of my head. by nineteen. I thought it was no, maybe it was no sixteen by. 12 or 8? No, but 16 by 8. That's what it is. 16 I was going to say, eight. 16 by 19. Sorry, I'm thinking of the right. dimensions of my garage were like 20 by 20. 16 by 8-ish. Right? I mean, I'm no mathematician, but that didn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry. No. Which we do have, I just uh, just this week ordered 20 more of them, but they won't be in for, I don't know, a month because they're coming from China. So, who knows? Um, yeah. There you go. I guess it depends on if they're set on a ship or on an aircraft. Ship. Because yeah. the aircraft shipping was going to increase the price by like $40 a kit. Woo! Yeah, I was like, mm, no. Pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, you, you're like, hey, I'll, I'm, making, I'm making deals to fly out to California. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Might as well, right? Dude, we're going to... We're going to have bodies stacked everywhere in Fred's house. It's going to be amazing. I know. I, I call my own bed. Yeah. That's, there you go. Except, that's a smart smart move. Yeah. I would consider <laughs> being the big spoon with Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> but only the big spoon, not the little spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, I always have to take it to the next level, don't right? I? <laughs> Good lord, it's worth it. Yeah, it is. It is uh, wildly inappropriate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice, Fred. Nice. Uh, I'll have to do some math en math engineering in my garage to make the lights fit. <laughs> I like that term. I haven't heard that before. Yeah. I keep forgetting Carrie is a guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Peter. My bathrooms. We nice. appreciate that. SoCal NGS party. Well, for sure, like, hey, when we go out there, we'll do a meetup uh, somewhere. We'll figure out. Last time, we, last time I was out there, I think we did a meetup. Or, well, two times ago. <laughs> It was pretty you gotta fun. pay extra for that, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. We actually had like <laughs> twenty plus people show up. It was it was pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll do that. Forking oh, by the way, we, we had this idea. We need to go to the C and C building and get a picture yes. there. Oh my <laughs> <Yeah>. god. <laughs> and just get a picture yes. of us standing there in front of like the, the C and C sign. <laughs> yes. That would be awesome. So, but we can send it to uh, was it the Clay Tom scammer? Yeah, yeah. Clay Tom scanner, scammer. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh man, that would be great. Yeah. We speaking of that. yeah, speaking of CNC, not to get serious, what oh. happens if you buy a car from them that has been stolen? Like, if you bought the car looking, and you have looking at Ferraris, like what what's the recourse if? All of a sudden, some guy calls you and is like, hey, this car was stolen from me. It's That's so nuts. it's messed up. But if you're the buyer, you probably are in the best position. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, if you're the seller, you're probably in the worst position, which sucks because, like, basically, yeah, your, your property got stolen and yeah. your recourse is only to uh, – so – and again, this is not like legal advice or anything. I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. But from what I understand, <laughs> if you're the seller, you can go to that uh, California Recovery Fund. But it, it's right now it doesn't have enough money to pay out. Mm -hmm. So they've already basically bankrupted the fund. So it's going to take time for the fund to regain money to be able to pay these people. Which I, I, a good news is I actually read... Um, some people were talking about it, and they said as it regains money, they will continue to pay out for these people. So oh, that's, that's cool. Good. 
but yeah. it's it's limited to like thirty five thousand dollars. Yeah. Oof. So let's say you sold a hundred thousand dollar car, you're still losing sixty five thousand dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's just talk about a kick in the nuts. Right. I'm just like, damn, dude, that's just what you know. Anyway, the whole yeah, that's the, that's rough. Yeah. That whole that whole situation is like. So uh, funny enough, uh, Fred will tell you. Fred was trying to buy another car. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm upset that this didn't yeah, go through. Yeah, legitimately. Because it been... like, but I was super excited. Fred, Fred contacts us. He's like, dude, look at this car. I'm buying it. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I'm buying this car. I'm like, oh, my God, it's amazing. And then he tells me the price. And I'm like, that sounds too good to be true. Like, it's way too low a price. And he's like, yeah, I got a crazy deal. I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. Go for it. Well... <laughs> As in <laughs> life, if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. It probably is. So he calls me up like a few days later, and he's like, hey, you won't believe this, but um, I tried to get financing for this car, and the financing company was like, hey, you need to do, we, need to, we require a title check on this car. And he's like, really, why is that? And he's like, well, uh, I don't know if you've heard about this CNC Motors thing. And he's like, actually, oh, no. <laughs> he's like, actually, I have heard of that. My friend Dan helped, you know, and he's like, I helped on that too. You know, Fred, Fred was running around for us. So they, because of CNC, they actually uh, are mandating a title check before this, this company would do funding. Well, anyway, they do a title check on this car. Turns out there was a $43,000 lien that the owner had taken out in the car right when he listed it. It was like a payday loan. Oh, that's shitty. And so the dude was trying to dump the car because he was trying to like pawn that off on someone else. And and so of course Fred's like, well shit, like, you know, I can't buy this car with the lien. And like they tried to talk to the owner and whatever and he didn't have enough money to pay off the lien. Like, even, even with the money that Fred was going to pay into it, it wouldn't have been enough. Wow. So he had to walk from that car, which sucks because it was, <laughs> it was a badass car. But anyway. So Randy, Randy has a very opinionated, uh, opinionated opinion on the NSX being a supercar. Oh, here we go. Uh, if you say no, you're all wrong, all looming aluminum chassis and body titanium connecting rods 100 horsepower per liter one of the first cars with variable valve timing and still slow <laughs> <laughs> tell us how you really feel dan <laughs> I, look that was my only problem with the nsx i thought it looked great it's performance like its handling was great and it was just so underpowered it just man you know like i just yeah I, I don't know. That car, there's two cars that enthusiasts will chastise me about that I just never got into. The NSX, Super. both old and new, I don't like. And the GTR. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I just the don't, GTRs. I don't get the GTR. Like, I'm sorry. I, but... I get it. I get it. But it's just numb. Like, everybody says it's McLaren. So ugly. No, it's ugly as hell. Well, yeah. that's. It looks that's like a, a brick. That's subjective. It's a brick. No, my truck is a brick. Your no, truck, your truck is, is a brick. A, at least a shaped brick. Yeah. <laughs> this thing, no, and they sound like shit. I'm sorry. They sound so bad. Like, all right, here's every GTR on earth. <laughs> that's a GTR, okay? It's like, pretty good. Yeah. It's, that's pretty accurate. Good well, it's accurate. <laughs> what I was saying, though, is I get it. I mean, the thing is ridiculously fast. No, like, it is. It is. And, and it is, is stupid fast. I understand. And so I understand. I get that. But it's, um, it's just everybody says that McLarens feel numb because no. it's all computer. That feels numb yeah the mclaren feels like a ferrari compared to the gtr yeah i would and agree. that says a lot so that's my problem personally with the gtr is it's computer is, it's a rolling computer yeah, yeah. yeah it computer. is absolutely 100 percent. yeah and, and it's a rolling computer that sounds like shit <laughs> <laughs> it looks terrible <laughs> i know i just pissed off a ton of people 
GTR is the ultimate Mustang. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's That's... not. You know why? Because it's got all the drive, so you don't see them crashing every time they're leaving cars and coffee. <laughs> they're true. crowd control. Yeah. The Mustangs are crowd true. control. Uh, Mousetrap. Honda would not go eight cylinders at all. That is why the NSX never got the proper power. I totally agree. If Look, imagine if Honda took all the crazy technology they learned in F1 and Indy racing and threw it in the NSX. Has there ever been a V8 Japanese car? Yeah, there has. The uh, Lexus uh, Elephant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, is that I was a about V8? to say. No, that's a V10, isn't it? Um, Google. Find out. Someone Google that real quick. Yeah. I thought the LFA was a V10. I'm Googling it right it now. I could be wrong. I'm probably... I think I'm probably wrong. I think technically the F-Type is the Mustang's final form because Ford owned oh, it is a when they developed it. It is? It's basically a yep. British Mustang. It's a 4.8 liter no, V10. The, the, no, uh, the F-Type is a British muscle car. Yeah. It is. 100%. Yeah. It's it's just, yeah, I, I love the F, the F-Types, man. Yeah. I still do. Even though I hate them, I love them. <laughs> It makes me smile every time, you know, drive it. Yeah, it's a fantastic car. Just don't buy the early ones. <laughs> yeah. And have I'd a warranty. Jonathan, I'd, warrant. I'd take a Carrera GT over an LFA. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I would too. I would too. Yeah. Yeah. Although sure. I will say the, L the LFA truly does sound like an F1 car from the factory even. It does. Yeah, and they rev so freaking high, and they had to give it the electronic uh, RPM gauge because the engine revved faster than the needle could keep up. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. GT three fifty R is an awesome car, and I don't normally like American cars. I agree. The GT three fifty is amazing. I would love to drive one of those. Yeah, I think that that would be awesome. <laughs> Oh, LFA used Yamaha to help with the exhaust, though. I did not know that. That's actually kind of interesting. I've heard that somewhere. Um, I've heard that Yamaha actually helps, like, more a bunch of car manufacturers. Believe it or not. DDE is selling a well-used GTC for $1.2 million. Is that the one they beat the shit out of? Because if so, does it, you don't want that car. No. Does it come with the rear bumper? <laughs> for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a low blow, man. I don't um, care. I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, LFA OEM exhaust by Yamaha. According to Mousetrap. Supercars by the sea. I wish Flex Seal was around when I daily drove a 95 Viper. Maybe you could stay dry. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah. Man, I, I, you know, like, at some point, I feel like I want to own a Viper just because when I was a kid and the Viper came out in, what was it, 1992? That, to me, was like, I wanted it so bad. I was like, oh, my God, eight liters, eight liters of V10. <laughs> holy crap. And then, so, like, I fantasized about the Viper for forever. And then I finally got to see one, and I heard it. And, like, we went, we went to the racetrack, right? We went to Gingerman Raceway. And we get out of the car, and you hear these cars going by. And I'm like, what, what the hell car is on the track right now? It sounds terrible. And also I go up to the track, and I'm like, that's the Viper? No, uh, it sounds like shit. Oh, man. It sounds so bad. your childhood dreams. Yep. It, just, it totally shattered my dreams. I was like, oh my God. Because, you know, like back then, they didn't have YouTube and stuff. So, like, all you had was the magazines and pictures. And I'm like, oh my God, the pictures look so good. And yep. then I, yeah, it ruined it. <laughs> they just, they need an X pipe or something. They need, you know what it is? is yeah. They should not have done the pipes out the sides. Because, like, I know it was supposed to be like, the Shelby Cobra reincarnated, you know, the whole giant engine in a small car thing. But don't don't do that. Like make the pipes come together at some point. Like you can't. Did the to... did the gen the six gen did that still come out the sides or did they finally go to a rear exhaust on that? The Gen fives, or whatever the latest one is. Uh, they had. Um, 
I think they came out the rear. So like the the what is it? The GTS, which was a Gen two, I think, that had where it came out the back, and those actually mm-hmm. sound much better. It's like Omar's car. Omar has the GTS and it comes out the back and it sounds pretty good. But like when you've got the side pipes, you've got two five cylinders arguing. Yeah. yeah. And it just sounds <laughs> terrible. Just mm, so bad. Yep. Gen one Viper was the first, you know, super car I got to ride in when I was Oh really? Way too way too young to admit. But <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Th- those things look they're scary. Oh yeah. Does it, John said that the GTR holds its value really well. Does it really? I, I can figured see, those I can things, see that. I figured that those things plummeted like a rock because didn't they make a ton of them? Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. They sold like hotcakes. Like, Nissan had a winner. Oh, yeah. I probably kept Nissan afloat. Yeah. They need to do something else because I've heard <laughs> they're not doing too hot right now. <laughs> Yeah, man. So Dan, in 1991, the NSX was not slow. It smoked everything, and I could take you for a ride in the corner and will make you piss your pants. No, I <laughs> challenge mean, accepted. Challenge Let's accepted. Do it. Like I, I've ridden in cars with actual race car drivers. That makes you piss your pants. Like I drove in a Cayman at Eagles Canyon Raceway with a semi-pro racing driver, and it made me pee my pants. Yeah. And then I drove in an, or rode in a GT2 with an amateur racing driver at Coda, and that dude made me piss my pants. That dude could drive. I just, ben will tell you about that guy. I've ridden, I've ridden in the NSXs, and I've driven them, and I just, I don't know. It just never did it for me. It just, ah, ah. That- that one that went up with us on Pikes Peak sounded good, whatever that exhaust they had on it. Oh, but, but that was the new one. Yeah, that was a new one. Yeah, yeah. So. That was, that was, it sounded all right. Like, yeah. No, I am not that good a driver. Trust me. I am. Or, or if he is the best one you know, Fred, then you don't know very many good drivers yeah. at all. <laughs> Seriously. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a marginally okay driver in the world of performance driving. <laughs> My stock went up with my 360 Spider coming soon in 2022. Okay. Why did you lie to people on YouTube today, Stu? Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> that the funny smell? <laughs> Let's see. I haven't seen... Oh, yeah. I think you already read that. What's your most hated car? 360. <laughs> Don't... Jesus. Push. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now it's almost like an you know what it is? It's almost become that ongoing joke that like yep. it just has to carry until the end of time. It's a meme for me now. Yeah, it's just a meme. <laughs> like it's just oh my god. Uh, <laughs> damn it, Adam. <laughs> Most hated car. I, I mean you I'm had- just, I'm assuming you're talking like not normal cars because there's some normal cars that I absolutely hate, but you know, like performance, the like cars that people idolize. How about that? What's the most hated car that like the car community loves? How about that? I don't know. That's a good question, right? Yeah, that is a good question. <laughs> I, I would almost say it's probably the GTR for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, uh, I just, man, it just never, like, resonated with me. I just looked at it and just, there was never a moment where I'm like, yeah, I want one of those in my garage. Before, you probably hated it before you even saw it, or like in person, like saw it in person or heard it, right? Like, you probably hated it from the moment you saw the, original pictures oh it just looked terrible I mean, even oh i'm really gonna get shit for this one <laughs> even the old ones the old original gtrs that did you know skyline or whatever it was called when they like you know were only in japan like i understand that it was like performance and whatever but like you can't take a shit box looking car and make it perform good and be like this is a great car it still looks like a shit the box. old ones look that bad it looks terrible it's a, just, 
You're prejudiced towards Nissan. I'm yeah, sure. I take that. Yeah, like you know, like I'm sorry, but like that car just doesn't. There's nothing like when I see it, I'm not inspired at all. At all. I I I'm not inspired when I see it at all either. But I don't share the same hatred toward it that you do. I, I mean, hatred's a pretty strong word. <laughs> You've been saying a lot of pretty horror. <laughs> Stuart says the AMC Pacer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty. That's pretty bad. That is, yeah. That's pretty atrocious. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I'm I mean, having a hard time visualizing what it looks like. Let me look. Uh, at, oh my God! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does this exist? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yes. Oh my yes. God. To me, the GTRs look like family cars. It looks boring. Like, okay. So you take like a BMW M3. Like, it's supposed to be like the family saloon car that like hauls ass, right? But it looks cool. Like, it, like it has a personality about it, right? And, you know... <sighs> Just the the Nissan, just like okay, it's a Nissan. <laughs> yeah, I think modern Nissans suck, but I like the old yeah. '80s and '90s Nissans. No, I, I think I would, they made great cars. They I would lost love their to rock way. like a 240Z. Oh yeah, those are badass. Like those are yeah. beautiful. Those are attractive, interesting cars. They had personality. But, yeah, they had personality. They were made to be fun and yeah. everything like that. Like, I still Nissan remember, really lost their way. I remember the early, early days of the internet back before YouTube and everything. And, like, I would go scouring the internet for videos of, like, car stuff, right? And, of course, me being, like, a kid, I was like, burnouts. I want to see burnouts. And I remember this video of this dude who took a 240Z and dropped... I'm going to say it was an LS because it was always an LS, but he dropped a big V8 in it. And, LS, all the things. You know, like there was no data <laughs> on the car. It was just a video that was hosted on some dude's like computer or whatever. Anyway, I had this video and he just takes it out. And of course that thing weighs like, you know, like 50 pounds, right? And he's just annihilating the tires for like, I don't know, a quarter mile, just burning out these tires as far as you can see, the blackest black tracks you've ever seen. And I'm just like, that is badass. <laughs> yes, of course, I've heard of the concept of a sleeper car. My buddy, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to pull up a sleeper car video. I have one. Oh, no. I have one that I filmed on my channel that you all need to see. So I'm going to go find it real quick. Well, while, while you find that, to, to talk about Stu's question, or comment on bringing back 70 station wagons with a rear-facing seat. That would my be dad, awesome. My dad has a story of his first car that had that. And, you know, his parents thought it was great. My grandparents thought it was great because, you know, it was a slow family car until they realized those seats folded flat. And then they made him sell it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Boom. They don't want no grandbabies. When we're done yep. here, don't watch it right now. When we're done here, watch <laughs> the video I just posted. So this was back when I lived in Michigan and we were dumb young kids uh adam or sorry andy sorry adam and andy andy who was on the chat earlier i think but anyway andy had this like very boring looking mustang you know so back then everyone had a fox body right and like most of the fox bodies weren't that fast unless you actually did something to it and andy slapped an 88 millimeter turbo on this thing but kept the exhaust like super quiet right and so he would drive around and it looked kind of stock. He didn't change any of his body or whatever. And it was quiet. And he'd pull up at a stoplight and kids would like pull up in a motorcycle and be like, let's race. And he's like, okay. And he would stand on the trans brake on the street oh, no. and fucking pull the wheels up in the air, like full on, like wheel stand on the street and just annihilate people. And <laughs> this, that's awesome. It was so fun riding around the thing anyway that that video is his first ever test pass on the drag strip and he runs like a 10 something like so unpopular time. opinion here yeah unpopular opinion yeah the fox body was a hideous looking mustang what yep i said it get out <laughs> come at me bro <laughs> get out i said it 
I love the Fox Buddy. I think it's awesome. It is a hideous looking even, vehicle. Even, oh, you're going to hate me even more? I like the Fox Buddy <laughs> Notchback. Ugh. I love the Notchback. I wanted one so bad. Anyway. Oh, uh, we should, wow, we've gone way over. We should, we should oh, yeah. wrap this up, man. Jeez, like, sorry, this, this one was a good one. Like, obviously. Yeah. We got, it, we, we made, we made a lot of people angry tonight. Yeah, we <laughs> took off everyone. Holy crap. Yeah, so. Uh, You'll notice when we, when I really started to get, like, offensive with the cars and everything, the donations dried up. <laughs> <laughs> people were like, this guy is an asshole. Like, all right, we, we're not giving that guy any money. <laughs> And we're now down below 50 viewers. So, yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right, guys. We're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us. We yes, will... thank yes. you, guys. See you next yeah, thanks, thanks for letting me crash yeah, your yeah. live stream, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, no it problem. Fun. We'll have to start doing that. We'll have to do more yeah. of that. Yeah. So, anyway. so guys, get get cameras and headphones if you, yeah, uh, you want to be on. Us. All right. That's, that's going to be our rule. If you want to be on the live stream, you need a webcam and headphones. All right. And the headphones is just for the audio. Yeah, just so we don't get the when reverberation. When it feeds back, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you right. next week. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. And it's done. Okay. <laughs>